The importance of advanced air mobility to the United Arab Emirates is very clear here at the Dubai Air Show, where we have a pavilion dedicated to EV tolls and air taxes. Now we're going to be talking to one of the companies at the forefront of this new technology, Archer Aviation. We're talking to Dr. Talib Al Hanai from Archer Aviation. Now tell us about the midnight. It's here at the show. What are we going to see? Where are you coming from with this? So we're glad to be here at the Dubai Air Show for the second consecutive time. Archer Aviation designs and develops electric aircraft. And our midnight aircraft that you see here is going to be our electric air taxi. So what is midnight? Midnight is a four passenger piloted aircraft that can do vertical takeoff and landing, but can also do conventional takeoff and landing. So we can take off and land everywhere a helicopter can land, and we can also do takeoffs and landings from runways at airports. The range is about 150 kilometers or 100 miles, and the top speed is 240 kilometers per hour. So we can do Abu Dhabi to Dubai comfortably, we can do Abu Dhabi to Alain comfortably, and we're very excited to be here at the air show. So you're doing your flight testing here in the UAE and in Abu Dhabi. Just tell us how that's going. Yeah. So we've already started flight tests here in the UAE since last summer. So we did our first flight at Al Batin Executive Airport in Abu Dhabi with the backdrop of the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque, a beautiful flight. And since then we've continued to fly in the UAE. Just last week we released a video of our UAE in-country flight campaign where we are able to show full flight envelope of our midnight aircraft with vertical takeoff transition to wingborne flight and vertical landing. We're very excited to continue our tests here in the UAE in the run-up to our launch next year. Now the regulator, the GCAA, is, is, is really interested and very keen on supporting companies that are doing this. They're obviously watching the test program very carefully. How's your relationship with them? Yeah. We have a great relationship with the UAE General Civil Aviation Authority, the GCAA. They're very supportive of the UAE being the first launch market for midnight aircraft globally and they've worked with us on establishing an initial certification pathway that will allow us to start passenger operations and commercial operations here next year. Just last week, His Excellency Saif al uh, in an article with the National mentioned that um, the UAE is likely going to see certification by quarter three of 2026. As long as safety standards are met, we're working very closely with them. We have a great relationship with the GCA to be able to make this happen. Now, one of the big challenges is the transition yeah. as you're going into from vertical flight. Yeah. You can do it when you're doing it uh, autonomously. Yeah. You've got pilots to bring into it. Yeah. How difficult is that? So, uh, we've been able to do transition flight with our mid-zero aircraft um, since 2023. Um, and we've been able to show that in, in the US and in the UAE in our flight campaign before. Um, we're currently now working, working on the piloted transition flight. That's going to come very soon. Um, it is obviously the most challenging part of flight because you know, there's a lot of intricacies about modeling it and ensuring that we're able to be able to do it safely and smoothly. Also have to think about the passenger experience and so on and what comes into it. So let's think about that passenger experience. We're looking forward to next year once the certification happens. Who's actually going to be operating it and how can people get tickets to fly? Yeah, so we're working very closely in the UAE with the Abu Dhabi Aviation. So Abu Dhabi Aviation is the largest commercial helicopter operator in the Middle East and they're going to be the first ever operator of our midnight aircraft. So they're going to start off with at least two aircraft in the UAE next year. And uh, we're anticipating the first network, our, our launch network to be in Abu Dhabi city. So from the airport, different destinations, call it the Corniche or the hotels, that still hasn't been fully announced yet by the, by the government. But we're anticipating this to be uh, air taxi use cases for business travelers, for tourists who are just interested in a point A to point A flight and see Abu Dhabi from the top, which is a very scenic city, as well as um, emergency services. Uh, we have an agreement with the Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi to do kind of organ transports um, between their helipad and, and other locations. So there's a lot of very interesting launch use cases to start off with. Talib is very, very exciting and we look forward to seeing you in the air next year. Thank you.